Hi guys, welcome to a brand new episode of Simi Speaks. Thanks for joining me again on this channel today. Thanks for also watching my last video if you did. So today I'm going to be talking basically about how to stop negative thinking, how to live positively and just like block negative thoughts out of your head and live a better life. So right now let's get straight into the video. So firstly, I'll be starting with like causes of negative thinking or things that can make us want to think negatively. First would be fear. I believe fear is one thing that is very, very like, is, is a major cause of us to think negatively because the fear of the unknown, the fear of, oh, we might fail if we do it. Fear is one thing that will keep on limiting us from actually achieving what we need to. And also, another reason is failure. Probably our past fears, our past traumas, our past failures, our past circumstances are things that would make us want to think negatively. For someone that has gone through a traumatic experience before in their life, like the thought is just going to be always there and it's going to, it's going to actually affect how we live our lives, basically. So today I'm going to be sharing basic tips and things I think can help in order for us to like stop negative thinking. The first would be positive affirmations. Positive aff affirmations is one thing that is really, really necessary for someone that thinks negatively. So the thing is, um, you there's a lot of attraction. You 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 attract things you think of. You attract things that you say. You attract things that you like that you actually picture basically so it's if in my mind i picture myself to be a successful person i begin to work in the light of it and i begin to see things in the light of it but in a, in a situation whereby one thinks that or oh, i'm going to be a failure i'm going to do this is those are the type of things that you actually attract and i'm saying this from a very personal level i remember when i was having one of my exams in acc I, my dear, I, the only thought in my head was that this course is too hard and there's no way I'm passing it. That, like, that was just it. That, that was just the thought. Like, I was, I was putting in the work, my dear. I was reading nights every time, but in my mind, I was like, nah, this course, if I pass it, it's the grace of God because that was really what it was for me. Because I'd already seen it from what people had said before. Oh, this course is hard. You either get 48, you get this, you get that. And that was the light I was beginning to walk in until I actually told myself that no, I'm going to actually pass this exam because if I go into the exam mode to write everything, I already have the thought that I'm going to fail and that's what I'm going to come out with. But luckily for me, I was able to say things that were positive to myself and actually passed the exam. With like a, actually, the way I passed the exam was like with a very small, <laughs> like with a very like the the way I passed it was like just like a pass basically. So I won't say that positive affirmation is is important and also it helps you to shut out negative thoughts. So the thing is, I'm thinking when I when I wake up in the morning, I'm thinking, ah, today is going to be a terrible day. But no, by the time you say that, you're thinking that no, today is going to be a successful day. Today is going to be a positive day. Today is going to be a great day. So you're literally shutting it out with positive affirmations. So positive affirmations would shape on your life and it would it will also help you to like eradicate negative thoughts. So that's that for negative thought, for positive affirmations. Another tip is that we should be grateful for everything and anything. So the the waking up in the morning, the fact that you can see with your eyes, the fact that you can hear with your ears, those little things, if you're grateful for, like the things that we would usually take for granted, if we begin to be grateful for all those things, we'll see that there's so much beauty in life and that's what we're, what we're living in, basically. So for someone that has negative thoughts, you wake up in the morning and, oh, thank you, Jesus, for today. Opening our eyes to see a good day, to see a new day is something to be grateful for. Stepping out to even find something to hustle is a, is a lot to be grateful for, really. And another tip I would like to share is find the good in everything and anything. Find the good in what you do. Find the good in the, the, the present situation you are. That means be optimistic about things. Like, there are some people that when you tell them anything, they're already telling you, ah, what if you now have an accident? What if this one happens to you? Don't be pessimistic about things. Be optimistic. Try to say, oh, 
that you eventually make it you the, the, this is the beauty that can come out of it try to see the beauty in things be like see the good in things like your present situation might not be what you want it to be but the fact that you even have a job that you the fact that you have something to look up to is it alone is something to be like to find the good in your present situation might not look like it but like your present situation is not where you'll be in, in like in the next two years and that alone you know that you're planning towards making things better just find the good in where you are and what you're doing be optimistic about life be optimistic about things you do like say good things to yourself as as you're doing it as you're doing it say good things to yourself another tip is that let it out and talk to talk about it talk to someone like I mean, you don't even have to talk to just anybody you can seek help if you need it you can go for therapy you go you can see a counselor just talk to someone and even if it's just a close relative that you know that can help with what you're going through like people won't just read your mind nobody like nobody knows everything in this world nobody is an island you won't just like survive on your own just like that like things won't just take place like that like that like that so you might need to talk to someone and like seek help seek professional help there's something that you say that a problem shared is half solved or something like that so try to talk to someone when you need to if you need to like just share your body with someone it doesn't have to be someone you know you can go out and talk to a stranger <laughs> like really just try to actually seek help when you need to talk it out when you need to and then like things can cloud you you might have gone through a trauma and it's just all up in your head it just keeps replaying itself the touch just keeps going on and on and on in your head like you might need to actually talk it out to actually feel relieved you might need to scream it out to actually feel relieved so you need to do what you have to do talk to someone let it out and seek for help if you need to another tip is that focus on your strengths focus on things that you know you are very good at if it's a talent that you have is drawing focus on it put your energy into it like try to put your mind away from things that actually would make you feel bad or make you feel fear or make you think negatively so focus on your strengths try as much as possible not to compare yourself with others like this time you don't, you don't have to be comparing where you are with what other people are doing i know you might have started at the same time or whatsoever but try to focus on yourself and on your strength to get better at what you do to actually help you eradicate such thoughts of negative of negativity basically so focus on your strength be better at what you do if, if your negative thinking comes from like comparison with other people like try to shut it out as much as you can try to shut like just shut it out as much as you can because it helps you like it helps you to relieve your mind basically it helps you to to think properly if it's that oh you're being like it's someone on social media that you're like is actually having block the person block mute the account do just don't even find their name from anywhere or whatsoever and just try to build yourself up and focus on yourself focus on your strength and just become better so this is what i need you to do. I have to take this to help me it's like so i say it's well and i don't stop start tomorrow in a way that sets a positive tone when you wake up tomorrow start positively like start on a very positive note for your day involve in positive conversations be mindful of people that you actually talk with the conversations you involve yourself in be very mindful of it make sure that you're not speaking negatively you're not in a negative mood and stuff like that so involve in positive conversations that you know will help your mind and be grateful that you can see a new day and i believe that with with all of these things we can actually take a step in thinking positively like these things won't just totally come around in a day it doesn't just but day by day step by step it gets better day by day step by step you get better at what you do at what you see at what you think of and i just wish the best for every one of us i hope that we get to think more positively we are more optimistic about what we do about what we say about how we think and until next time i want you to know that i love you 
but God loves you more. Don't forget to like, share, share this with someone that you know that needs it, someone that you know that it would help. Just share it with someone that you know might be going through a lot of things at the moment. You don't know you can be helping them. So subscribe, comment, like, just like you know, love up on me, and also drop in the comment section other tips that you think can help people to actually overcome negative thinking. Bye.